Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Pride Month, welcome back to the Pride festivities. In my last video, I talked about different brands and different companies and their Pride collections, and I give you guys my rating for them. But today, we're gonna do something a little bit different, still Pride themed. I was sitting there watching my YouTube videos, or I don't know, maybe I was on Hulu or something like that, but this commercial came up. Honestly, I almost cried, it was so cute, so sweet. So I knew in that moment I had to find the full version and react to it here on my channel for you all. I also found a few other commercials, a few other little advertising that are pride themed or LGBTQ plus themed that I want to react to as well. Sorry, I'm like trying to like get everything situated. So yeah, that is what we are going to be doing today. I post new videos here on my channel every Monday and Thursday, so make sure to subscribe if you are not already and you would like to be. Go ahead, I'll wait for you. Are you done? Thank you very much. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all those different places to keep us up to date with me as possible. And also I have a Patreon. So if you guys like the work that I do here on my channel and you would like to donate, the link for that is down below as well. But yeah, with no further ado, let's get right into the very first Pride commercial that I have for this video anyways. So the first one that I want to react to, and actually this is the commercial that I saw that inspired this whole video, is a commercial by Indeed. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Hi. No. I love this commercial because it's already so relatable. Like that's literally me just looking up online like, what do I do? How do I do it? What do I do? What's gonna happen? SOS. Maybe it's just relatable for everybody. Maybe that's just, you know, me looking too deep into it. Sorry, I'm like moving all over the place right now. I cannot get comfortable in this chair. Hi, I'm here for my interview. I'm Dorian and I use the pronouns he, him. Are you comfortable sharing how you would like to be addressed? Thank you for asking. I use they, them pronouns. Great. Oh, I'd love to hear more about your skill set. I'm gonna lose my shit. I'm losing my shit. Is that not the cutest looking commercial you've ever seen in your whole entire life? So if you're not trans, if you're not like visibly LGBT, you might not understand the stress that goes into, honestly going into any new type of situation, but especially a situation where you are literally signing up to be judged. Cause honestly, that's what a job interview is. You know, you show up to be judged. That's just how it works. But as soon as this person sat down and the interviewer said, hi, my name is Dorian. I use he, him pronouns. You could see that their face got all happy. They smiled. It really does a great job of showing how impactful something as simple as, you know, sharing your pronouns could be for a trans person. And then I really, really love this line that they put on screen at the end. It says, we can't show what we can do until we can show up as who we are. When you are constantly hiding and having to, you know, police your own identity to make sure that you are even safe or feel welcome in the workplace, it takes up a lot of mental energy and I'm not gonna say it's impossible, but it is much, much harder to show up and be present and to give it your best and to show them your true capabilities when you have all of that other stuff going on in your head. But just that simple little phrase at the beginning, hi, these are my pronouns, like, are you comfortable sharing yours? And it instantly signals to that person that one, this company is a, you know, accepting company. You're going to be safe here. You're going to be welcomed and supported here. But also it allows this person to kind of let their walls down and show you, the interviewer, what they are really capable of. I loved this commercial. I thought it was very, very well done. I loved it. Great job. I hope the person gets the job. Okay, so the next one is a commercial from Starbucks. I must said Target for some reason. It's not Target, it's Starbucks. I think it is from last year, from 2020, but I don't really care. We're gonna watch it anyways. Hey! <laughs> Carol, you remember my Gemma? Gemma? How you doing? And what's your name? It's James. James? Cute! So cute. Oh my god. That reminds me of when I was first transitioning. People used to say like, oh, when you're testing out different names that you might want to use, go to like a Starbucks and say, oh, this is my name. The name that you're like curious about or the name that you're trying out. And when they call it, if it feels right to you, 
then there you go. If you're not trans, you might not understand how impactful it can be to hear a name that you don't identify with all the time. You also may not realize how often your name is really used. It's not just saying, hi, my name is Sam, when like a teacher calls you for attendance or introducing yourself. Your name follows you everywhere. It's on all your cards, like your credit card and your debit card. It's on all your bills, your IDs. It quite literally is everywhere. To this day, I'll still be digging up like old paperwork or get like a letter from somewhere that I haven't been in a long time and it will say my dead name. And it's just like, girl, like I thought I escaped you. But I like how Starbucks is like, you can just come here and just lie to us. We don't care about it. Just tell us whatever name you want. So the next commercial that we are going to be watching today is from SodaStream. And it actually is a commercial that is starring Laverne Cox. So can't wait, I love Laverne Cox. I always knew that my life would become a rainbow story. The world just had to catch up. <sighs> You're so amazing. Let's change the world together. But I wanted to include this commercial because I really liked how it kind of depicted that when you're young, it may feel like, you know, everybody's against you and that you're so alone. And it shows that, you know, anything is possible. Like if you're a young person, you're getting bullied or whatever, whatever, and you want to grow up to save other trans people someday, it's totally possible. Like you do you, you can do it. Okay, so the next ad that we have is from Levi's. Just let go of whatever you think you know. We've been on this earth for a blink of an eye. <laughs> How could we expect to understand everything? Gender and identity is not static. So much can be broken down and dissolved. It's so beautiful when things get rebuilt. Trans people are magic. <laughs> Full stop. It's amazing growing up in this generation. Everything is so fluid. There is history, but at the same time, there's also creating history. I'm doing this even if I don't get to enjoy this. It's a gift to the next generation. Being able to see all of these amazing people who have been themselves in a world that's so not accepting really inspires me to be exactly who I want to be. My liberation is wrapped up in your liberation. Do you think you're free? Well, you're not until I am. Let's embrace change so that we can open ourselves up to learning and being in better relationship with each other. Hmm, okay. All right, I'm gonna be honest. This one felt kind of all over the place to me. Like it feels like they interviewed these three people separately and then just kind of like took random lines and just put it all together and then put like a pretty picture over it. And it was pretty, I'll give you that. But one of the people were saying, we do this for the next generation, but then it's like, do what? You're on the beach, like, what do you do? Elaborate, not saying that you don't do anything, but like elaborate, like, come on. I don't know, I said it in my last video when I was talking about, you know, different companies and their pride collections that I shouldn't criticize the companies that are actually doing something when there's companies that aren't doing anything. So of course, like it, it's a, it is a pride commercial. Like you did show that there are people that use alternate pronouns or are trans people that are in the world. I don't know, I'm just gonna say it wasn't my favorite. Not my favorite, there's nothing wrong with it, but it's not my favorite, okay? Okay, so the next one that we're watching and I think this one is going to be the last one, but it's my favorite one. I lost it when I saw this one. This one is from Kodak and I think this one's also from last year, but like, it's fine. <laughs> Hey, Jalen. Good to see you again. How are your parents? They're doing well, ma'am. Nolan? Can you come down here? Bitch. 
much. Relatable. So I can, I, my heart just dropped. I felt that. Don't be snooping. You get what you snoop for, sir. For real, that one got me good, real good, hit me right in the face. You could just like tell how scared he was and how like ashamed he felt and like same. If you're like a gay person, LGBT, whatever, whatever, it's not rare for you to feel ashamed of your identity. It's not rare for you to feel afraid of people finding out. I know for a very long time I was terrified, literally like it was my deepest, darkest secret. It felt like something that I had to be ashamed of. I won't say that I think that that was the best way to go about like telling your kid that you know, like sneaking into their room, taking something and then like blowing it up in a picture for your, their birthday. What if they had just broken up? How awkward would that have been? I would bawl, I would cry. But I mean, it's a commercial. It's supposed to just be cute. And I mean, it was very cute. I almost cried, for real, for real. But yeah, you guys, that is the last commercial or the last advertisement that I wanted to react to. I think my favorite was the Kodak one. Yeah, the Kodak one or the Indeed one. I like them all. Make sure to leave a comment down below and let me know which commercial was your favorite, which one you thought was the cringiest. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up down below because it really does help out my channel and I would really appreciate it. But yeah, other than that, I think I'm going to go. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in Monday's video. Bye everyone. Whoop.